Good afternoon from Jerusalem, Jane. Greetings from Jerusalem, where we are getting ready to enter Shabbat in a couple of hours. I have been awake since 3 a.m. this morning. I've actually been walking around here in my small apartment, just taking time in prayer and worship. Um, we are all in the same coronavirus situation. I'm wearing my crown. This was a gift from one of my intercessors in England. Did you know Corona means crown? And um, we are all in the same situation. We are all forced to be in our houses. So we are in the same situation. The only thing that's different is how do we react to this? I honestly believe that God is with us. And I have been singing this old song, Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. And it's just a powerful reminder that God is faithful and he is with us. And if you let him draw near to him in this time, in this hour, uh, his faithfulness is new. His mercies are new every morning. One of my favorite characters in the Bible is Joseph. Imagine being this young man who was out uh, being a shepherd and he was uh, giving these dreams by God and he was sharing them with his brothers. And they hated him because they thought like, you know, who is he to tell us about dreams? And we will bow down from him one day. And he was the he was the favorite of his father. So one day they sold him and he ended up in Egypt as a slave. Then he's falsely accused of raping the wife of his boss. And he ends in prisons. He ends in isolation. He ends in a lockdown. But God is using that situation to use him to interpret dreams and he gets out of his lockdown. And I think that's a powerful reminder right now how God can use all of us and how you can draw near to him while you are in your lockdown situation. So take courage, take heart. We will get on the other side of all of this. And I have still uh, been a little bit quiet because we have been through the Passover season and just letting God work inside of me and just having a precious time. Also taking it serious that so many of you are depending on me being a voice out of Israel so that what I'm sharing with you and you know when I feel like sharing about Joseph now I hope that will touch some of you and that that could be an encouragement for all of you. So I want to end this video by saying uh, we could be heading to a fourth election, maybe August 4th, if there's not going to be a unity government. Uh, the mandate of trying to form a government has now been passed down to all the members in Knesset. Anyone can try and see if they can get 61 MKs behind them to try and form a government. This has only happened twice in the whole history of Israel and most likely it won't happen. If it does, it's probably going to be from Benjamin Netanyahu or Benny Gantz. Or if it's not, yes, Israel is heading for a fourth election. It's absolutely unheard of. But hey, we are living in unheard times. So keep praying for the political situation here in Israel, for the Prime Minister of Israel, for God's will to be done, as we are definitely living in extraordinary times. Of course, we still are battling the coronavirus here. But I want to use this video to encourage you to spend time with God and just, you know, let God use you in this time. And if that garbage in your trunk, get, get rid of it. Uh, I think this is a valuable time. I'm at least is uh, using and trying to get the best out of it. So Shabbat Shalom to everybody. Have a great weekend and be encouraged. We will get out on the other side of this. Welcome to all the new followers I have on all my social media. God bless you. Shabbat Shalom. Bye.